Jay Nell here and uh, made it through my first year of going back to school full time. Like I said, I've taken a class here and taken a class there, but this is my first time going back full time in like 15 years. And yes, it was a lot, but I made it through, got like books late and all that kind of stuff. So I had to cram at the end, but I did make it. So I've got some pressure taken off of me this week. I've decided to go ahead and catch up on these uh, five minute movie reviews. I want to go ahead and get through the summer movies that I haven't done yet. And since um, I am so behind, I'm going to do two reviews this week. They're both going to be older movies, so I am going to discuss them more than I normally do. So there will be some spoilers in this review and the next review coming up. So I just want to let you know that in advance. So as you see down there, we are here to talk about Snake Eyes, <laughs> directed by Robert Schwintke. Now this is two hours and one minute long and it does move, it actually doesn't feel like two hours long. It's a fast paced movie. The soundtrack is real corny. There's times where it's trying to force some emotion, but for me it didn't work, it was actually kind of funny. And the action sequence music did make me laugh pretty much the entire time. It was like Power Ranger TV show music, so it was pretty corny. I like the colors in the movie, a lot of bright colors, neon colors, so I do like that color scheme. The set, you can tell that they didn't have much money here. When they're supposed to be in Japan, it's clearly a set, and it's a small set. It would be fine if it was like a theater play, but for a movie, it makes it feel small. Um, I actually like the clothing. The clothes, a lot of the clothes in this movie, I would actually wear myself. So I did appreciate that, whoever did the design for the outfits there. Um, as far as the acting is concerned, I thought the actors actually did a pretty, a pretty decent job. However, they had nothing to work with. This script is so thin. The only person who had any character development was Tommy, Storm Shadow, not Snake Eyes. <laughs> You don't really care about Snake Eyes at all. It doesn't feel like Snake Eyes' movie. It feels like Tommy's movie. He's the only one where you get uh, background information, family information. He has this internal struggle about what he's going to do and what the resources he has and how, what he can do about it. The whole issue in the first place with the villain is because of Tommy. So again, it's like, why is this movie called Snake Eyes? Either way, and I like the person playing Tommy, by the way, so he did a good job. As far as the villain is concerned, I like the person playing the villain as well, but you just don't get enough of him. It's like two or three scenes. I had to like think about who was the villain again. You don't even get like a secondary villain, a henchman going around and causing havoc so we can build upon the story of the villain. These movies don't work unless you have a strong antagonist and you don't have one here simply because you don't have enough, not enough in the script and not enough screen time. So I not enough to judge the accents are all over the place in this movie because the actors are from all over the place snake eyes is an aussie <laughs> so the accents poke in and out throughout the entire movie to the point where it actually makes it sound like an old school dubbed over kung fu movie in certain places i actually laughed out loud because of the bad dubbing over in the movie so there's that again this movie feels it feels like a g-rated movie it just does. And it, they didn't make good use of the money like they did in Mortal Kombat. That was another uh, action movie that didn't actually have that much money, but they made good use as far as the set designs and the way it looked. It didn't look so cheap. There was other issues here. This movie looks cheap. It, it, it looks like a low budget comic book movie. It doesn't even feel like a comic book movie, quite frankly. So again, this is a ninja movie. So let's go ahead and talk about the fight scenes of which there are none. And I can't believe it. <laughs> There's no fight scenes in this movie. I'm not joking. It's it's punch, cut away, kick, cut away, bad guy flying back, cut away. Then there's like a lull in the action. Everybody's moving around and standoff. And then they go in to do something, but cut away. It, they don't show any of the choreography, any of the fight choreography. You don't see any fight scenes in a ninja movie. They have the dude from the raid in this movie, the raid of the redemption, the main character. The dude from the raid is in this movie. He choreographs his own stuff. He's amazing. He does his own stuff. He's even a kind of a, a principal character, but he's uh, when Snake Eyes goes to the uh, to Japan, he's like one of the hard nosed. Like I'm gonna, you're not one of us. I'm gonna put you through the ringer. So you, you expect to see something from this guy. Like okay. Low budget movie. Maybe they had to save all the money for the fight scenes for the climax. We're going to get a heck of a climax. We get a bunch of builds up. Well, the music's going. We got to break people out of jail here. We got to find these people. We got to run away from these people. So it's all dun 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 We're at the bad guys. Face off. Hard faces. Cut away. Cut back to the scene. The bad guys are all slain. The person's been broken out of jail or whatever. They found where they needed to go and now they're off. 
you don't see the actual fight in a Snake Eyes movie, in a ninja movie, the dude from the raid. Okay, so the dude from the raid, I'm like, you know what? We got the guy from the raid. He's in a, a, a namaste type of pose. He's on the floor sitting down in, in, the, in the pose and the bad guys are coming from all angles, he opens up his eyes and cut away. Come back, he's slaying all the bad guys are on the floor. Are you serious? You had the dude from the raid. We didn't get to see a fight scene from the dude from the raid. We didn't get to see the dude from the raid fight. Are you? There's no fight scenes. There's no fight scenes in this movie. I couldn't have been more disappointed. No, I didn't like this movie. It's not in the theaters anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Hopefully you didn't waste your money on it. There is an end credits scene and it's about Storm Shadow, <laughs> which makes sense because the whole movie was about Storm Shadow. So um, yeah, didn't like this. Don't recommend it and was thoroughly disappointed. Boom. Yeah, so that is my review of Snake Eyes directed by Robert Schwitke. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to like this movie so much. There are three childhood properties that I watched the cartoons, the movies, and actually read the comic books. I'm not a comic book head, but I actually read the comic book. It is G.I. Joe, uh, uh, Spider-Man, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I even, I own all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. I watched all the cartoon movies for G.I. Joe, Spider-Man. Like, those were my three. Those were my three. I really wanted to like this movie. Even the old school G.I. Joe movies with The Rock and I, uh, Chatham, I Chatham. Um, they were okay. They, they were enough. They were enough. You had more fight scenes in those movies. I just, I cannot believe you had a ninja movie with no fighting. Thoroughly disappointed. So as far as my wants for a sequel, if they do have a sequel to this, because I know it was a flop in the theaters and rightfully so, I really, y'all really did this. You a ninja movie with no fighting. Come on, you deserve to flop. So if they do have a sequel, hopefully it's about Storm Shadow. And then that's the end scene anyway. He got banished from the clan and he's on the plane to go join up with Cobra perhaps. And again, I like that whole inner conflict he had because quite frankly, if you were in his position, a lot of us would probably have done what he'd done. It, 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 again, all of the story was about Storm Shadow. So I hope the sequel's about him too. I'm sure they'll have Snake Eyes joining the Joes. Um, oh, that I forgot to say that the Joes were in one scene, Samara weaving one Joe in one scene. So I'm sure they'll have Snake Eyes joining, joining the Joes. But if they do a sequel, it has to be parallel stories. I don't want it to be about Snake Eyes. I want it to be about Storm Shadow. That's it. And yeah, that's my whole review. Um, please go ahead and follow me. Um, or you have to follow me everywhere to get all of my content. I do post pictures of the movies that I'm seeing at the day that I'm seeing it. So if you do follow me everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that information down in the description, then we can go ahead and see these movies together. And that way you'll be prepared for the reviews and we can go ahead and actually talk about it. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Like the videos and please comment because these are conversations about movies, which we love so much. And again, this one's old, so you should have already seen it. So subscribe, like, talk to me, take care. Goodbye.